Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. In this really quick video, I'm going to show you my personal favorite way of uh, curating content for WordPress. And I'm going to show you in real time on our existing blog, um, you know, how I do it, right? So this may not be the right solution for you, but for me, it's a lot of fun. It's a great way of generating uh, lots of content and it's a great way of generating uh, lots of search engine uh, optimization value for your uh, community. So let's really quickly, we're going to go to this plugin up top here. You're going to see all these different content types, plugins called Snacks, uh, and it gives you the ability to add all this different sort of viral uh, content, but the which is very cool in of itself, but my favorite uh, you know, sort of piece of this plugin is the uh, link uh, type here. So uh, let's go really quickly to uh, Google. Actually, this is a, a podcast episode I recorded earlier today. Let's go to Google and the best ghost themes 2023. Let's pull this up here. I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to go to the link selection here. I'm going to paste that in here. You can add tags, which I would normally do. You can categorize it, which I normally do. I'm not going to do this here. Instead, the link is going to lead, not the link. The, there's a link naturally already to the, um, you know, the article that we're curating. But I'm also going to add a link, let's say, to our uh, course community as well. And we're going to publish. Let's go back and there is that uh, post, right? So you have a link to the original source. You have a little snippet of content here, and then you have the um, little bit of parenthetical commentary I added below. You have a buy now button, which is what we just added with the link that takes us to my course community, which you can see there. We're going to dump out of that. And I would probably uh, replace that with, you can vote, the readers can vote the content up and down. I would probably not use a buy now uh, link on something that doesn't really have a buy now sort of call to action contextually within the content. So I remove that, but for the time being, for this YouTube and course demonstration, I'm going to leave it. Let's go back Where's my Google uh, window? Let's just go back here. All right, let's do the same thing again here.
Okay, so I've just added a couple of little extra thoughts. You can do this or not. I find it ranks better when you do this. I added a little bit of you know information there. I would set up a, a category on your site that you called you know from around the web or something like that, or news from around the web, or curation, curated content, recommended, uh, you know, reading, something like that. Um, and you know, you would just simply add all these sorts of of curated articles to that particular category. You can again add that same link, or add a new link, etc. As we just covered, I'm not going to do this here because I'm not really, uh, you know, I don't really have something to recommend other than for folks to read that particular article. We're going to publish that, and there it is. And now you have some curated content that is showing up on top of our blog that folks can read they can vote on they can vote down they can click through to read that article etc cetera, etc cetera. all right let's now let's do one more and actually i'm going to make a video example. There's a bunch of ways to do video uh, curation that um, you know you can use this plugin to do. This theme that I'm using also is very, very good for uh, you curating video content. And I'll show you why really quickly. I curate a lot of my own video content here. So you'll see all these are actually videos. As you can see there, these are my own videos that I'm curating from uh, YouTube or other places where my videos live, as you can see here. But you can also do other people's uh, content as well the same way. Let's go to videos. Let's see if we can find something really recent. Let's try this guy here. Don't know who this is. Actually, I want something that's really on YouTube. Any of these just on YouTube? Let's just go right to YouTube. Is that the same guy? It's not. Let's see. It doesn't matter. In the interest of time, I'm just going to pick this dude. We're going to grab that video. We're going to go back. And you can actually use the video uh, content type here. You can use the link content there. Let's try video instead. Embed video code. It should give me the opportunity just to paste the link. It does. All right, so you can see, I know this guy, actually, he's um, he works for Podia. He's one of the folks that, you know, is into the uh, platform. When I say into it, he works at Podia. Let's just leave it where I started. It makes more sense. I'm going to add my own Podia affiliate link here. All right, so we have this here. So we're going to insert the link. And then now I am going to add my own affiliate link here. Actually, I could have pasted that because I copied it. Ah, oh, shit. I did not want to do that, I don't think. Let's see. Oh, looks like it worked. All right. You can vote it up or vote it down as before. Let's go back to the home page. And you can see... This one's a little wonkier than I'd like it to be. I don't want the title to be introducing access duration. Let's update that. 
And what's interesting here is because this video is um, in the post, I don't. I want it to be in the header. So watch what I do here. I'm going to add the video URL there. I'm going to update this here. Let's go back to this now, and you'll see the videos in the header, which looks better. And it's also here, which I would remove in this case. You have a link here, which goes to my uh, affiliate link, and you have a link here, which also goes to my affiliate, affiliate link, which is more um, appropriate in this particular use case because I'm actually, uh, you know, an affiliate and have been for many years for Podia, and I've also used Podia myself for many years. Our uh, our uh, mindful marketplace course community actually was on Podia for quite some time before I removed it in and we moved platforms in late 2022. All right, so there you have it. Now that video is gone. And now on the top of the blog, you have that review right there. Okay, and folks can play it. Hello, creators. I'm Ben Tolson from Podia. And today I'm happy. As you can see, this dude is from Podia. And here are our, uh, you know, three curated links that, or, you know, content resources that I've added in about 11 minutes. You can spend an hour doing this a day on a new site and literally have hundreds of high quality uh, articles on your uh, blog or website that are ranking in the search engines, long tail phrases like these, and are getting traffic for you and are ideal for selling affiliate products and you know doing whatever it is that ultimately you're doing in the world. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have questions, if you're interested in working uh, with our tiny community uh, uh, and our agency in 2023, we have some openings coming up uh, for new clients at the end of February. So get in touch uh, with me, mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com, or simply reach out and say hello, uh, You know, even if you're not interested in working together. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.